Hi, welcome to Simple or Not Kitchen. My name is Melissa St. Oud, and today we're making homemade mustard. And I'm gonna show you two easy methods for making this. Mustard is so fun and easy to make at home, and today we're going to be making one mustard on top of the stove to sort of mellow out those mustard seeds, and then we're going to do another one that is completely done in the refrigerator, no cooking required. And I have a combination of yellow mustard seeds and brown mustard seeds and a few spices on hand. The first method is going to be the stovetop method, and for this I have ground down all the seeds. I have a combination of yellow and brown and I've ground them down into a fine powder. So we're going to be starting this with about half a cup of mustard powder and then we're going to add some spices. These are optional. I have a little bit of salt. I also have some garlic powder, some paprika and some turmeric. The spices are the same for both styles of mustard. For our first mustard, which is our cooked one, we're going to take that mustard powder and we're going to put it in a non-reactive saucepan. Stainless steel is perfectly fine. We're going to add our spices and our water, and then we're going to add our vinegar as well. I have this on a low to medium heat. We're going to whisk it, and it's going to cook for quite a while until it's thick. See how it's very watery right now? We want it well, the consistency of your typical store-bought mustard. So it's going to take about 30 minutes of cooking. After about 15 minutes, you can see it's already starting to thicken up. We want to whisk this pretty much, not the whole time. You don't have to, you know, stand over the stove and whisk it the whole time, but you want to stir it and whisk it pretty often. As this is cooking, oh my goodness, I wish you could smell how good this smells. The flavor of the mustard will mellow out a little bit. Cooking it does help to mellow it out, but as it sits, it will become even more mellow. But you could add a little bit of honey if you wanted to make it a little more mild. And that's it. Once it's done cooking, about 30 to 35 minutes. See how nice and thick that has become? So we're going to just go ahead and put it into a container. And we really should let it sit for about 12 hours before eating it. Um, but after about 10 minutes, it should be pretty good. And um, you can eat it pretty much right away. For our next mustard, we're going to be using a combination of mustard powder and mustard seeds. But I don't want all of my seeds completely whole. I don't want them to be a powder either. So I'm just going to take, I'm using three tablespoons of the brown and I'll be using three tablespoons of the yellow. And I'm just going to pulse them for just a few minutes in my spice grinder until they are just a little bit broken up, but not completely broken up. Then I'm going to take them, I'm going to combine my seeds and my mustard powder in a jar. Just any old jar will do. And then in go our spices. I'm using the turmeric and also the paprika and a little bit of salt. And I'm also adding honey because the brown seeds can be a lot spicier than the yellow seeds. So then I'm going to add some water and we're going to stir it and let it sit for just a few minutes. And then we're going to add a little bit of vinegar as well. And I'm using apple cider vinegar in this one. Then we're going to pop this in the refrigerator and let it sit for about 24 hours to let all those flavors just sort of come together. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make your own homemade mustard at home. Thanks so much for watching. You'll find more recipes, articles, and video at pinalcentral.com.